Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame in Chicago, Illinois, where we have lots of snow right now. I know I'm not the only place. The whole there's like a whole swath that has been like cut through of really, really deep freeze weather. And I somehow think here in Chicago we're not done yet. So Today, what I wanted to let you know about is twin flame relationships. How many people are going through a push-pull energy? If you're with someone, are you noticing that the arguments are more frequent? Do you sometimes contemplate some sort of violent act, like you want to throw something, slam a door, um, yell, get really frustrated? Do you sometimes feel like you are saying things to yourself such as, oh, my life is a living hell or I can't live like this or something's got to give, but yet you feel like you just want to bust out because, yeah, the weather and the whole year, it's not really helping with that, okay? What do you do also if you have responsibilities? So a fair amount of people who are awakened and who are on the journey are parents. And you're having relationships with people whether you like it or not because for the most part, you have a relationship with your kid. You might have a relationship with other family members. You might have a relationship with the school. Let me ask another question. Do you feel like people are so pushy, like they're pushing you out the door and are you having really weird experiences where it seems like things don't go your way and then somehow you just sort of feel very baffled like that wasn't supposed to go like that? Or you feel like your manifestor is broken. You're just not able to manifest this beautiful golden experience all the time. Well, welcome to leaving the fourth dimension. That's how a part of it is. Now. That in and of itself doesn't get you where you need to be. It just becomes very noticeable. It becomes very glaringly obvious and snide and snarky and nasty and stuff like that. I know I've been being pushed out since the third grade. Okay, so what are we going to talk about here? We're going to talk about relationships. And so you have your love relationships. You have your family relationships. You have work relationships. And then there's you, and there's your relationship to yourself. So what I want to let you know is there is a new template. If you're just becoming aware of this, the template is commonly sometimes called the blueprint or your divine light body or your light body or the complement of your subtle bodies. It's comprised of subtle body, which connect and overlap each other. There's layers to you. You have chakras. You have chakras you didn't even know about. You have chakra and marma point connections you have to open up. A marma point is a shared connection that you share with the person who has the etheric connection to your 5D selves. So there is a new template that is created for success because this none of this would be worth it if people weren't intended to be successful with it. Success, success in several areas of your life. So unlike in duality where you have the winners in life and sometimes the winners are the predators or the A-type personalities or the people on the top standing on other people's shoulders, the playing field is being leveled here so that even people that formerly were the losers in life or the losers of the battle or the losing team, your team went to the World Cup and they lost. What becomes of the losers? What about all those emotions? And what about how that has happened throughout history? Why some countries get, you know, hammered with stuff. Honestly, here in the United States, if we did not have the resources we have, we'd be in big trouble because we keep getting hammered with stuff. I've had people comment to me from other parts of the world that are more mild. Like, oh, you know, you have earthquakes and tornadoes and fires and massive wildfires and flooding and snowstorms. And yeah, we do. And we kind of band together, even though we grumble and we just get it done. 
Um, there are areas that, you know, are forced to go through things because the weather is happening. So how do we get ourselves to get along with each other and be successful and not feel any of that old stuff, any of those old disparities and be in love and not have people drag you and your love back down under the waves with them? That's a good question, right? You have the new connections from 5D to transform this. So the first transformation is you, and it begins with one person in the unified couple first. And I don't mean just a couple that lives together. I mean people that you have a part of you actually connected. Transformation. Transformation always begins on the inside. Now, there are subtle forms of transformation where you are gently using the force of love to transform a situation, an environment, the feel of something. Take away the really destructive stuff that maybe a chronic condition can create in someone. Okay, what if you were able to stop yourself right at death's door? Those are some of your new connections from 5D. Now, in your personal relationships, because you are intended to have personal relationships, you're not intended to hide out. You cannot escape this ascension. You cannot escape coming back together with your other half, the real one. Okay, not the imagined one, not the wishful thinking one, not the false one, not the narc one not the covert narc one, or any of the words that are applied, okay? Because let me tell you something, your body doesn't lie. The cards, those could have some things that maybe get you through a day or something. Your body's got to get you through the rest of your entire life, okay? And it's different than using some of the tools. There are things inherent to you that you need to get up and running and only you can do. And you still live here, so you have to customize some things. So that's the template of relationship. That's a template that everyone is equipped with. So like, you know, before we incarnated here, it's like everyone was handed their backpack. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh, oh, you, you want to go down there to earth? Yeah, here you go too. And there you go. And you come down and you're like, damn, I need a survival kit down here. I feel naked and afraid. No need to. Come and join so that you get your template for new relationships up and running. Step one, get your own heavy patterns out. And we can get raw with this. Sometimes it does. Where people cry and people are angry and they are confused and angry and we get it shifted because it has to because spiritual fluff is just spiritual fluff actually being the spirit you are that's the real thing it's not platitudes it's not stuff you say like oh, be the love in the world there's no good being the love in the world if you can't love your neighbor or at least get along with them or at least not want to attack them and, you know, have to white light them. Do -do 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 -do. You should be getting to the point where you really don't care. And neutrality is a good thing. That's where it starts. And it doesn't end there. OK, so get your own heavy patterns out of all kinds, all kinds Embody the part of the template to make your relationships new by drawing down 5D love. You cannot transmit or, you know, vibe out the love unless you have your new template. It's this big. It's not that there's nothing. It needs to be this big. It needs to be big enough to part the seas when you walk. And I don't mean casting it out all over it, everyone, because that's going to be squandering your energies again. If you want to be an empath, keep doing that. I say stop being an empath, be who you came here to be, because you will be a lot more effective. Now, what if you are still in a relationship? You became aware of this, you watch videos, you know, 
you get a reading here or there, you attend a meditation, but you're still in a relationship because you have to be. And I get that. I stayed in my marriage for three years, even knowing full well in my heart the direction it was going. And I dragged my feet and I resisted and I went into denial and we both did. We tried to calm to get it. Just, it was not going to because I was getting ready to embody my template and I had to make, I had to free up the space. Now, what do you do if you just can't? You're living with someone or you're living with someone that maybe you believed at one time they were the one and somehow that train went off the rails. And now you're saying to yourself, I don't know who this person is to me, but I've got to live. They're my meal ticket or they put a roof over my head or they're not really a bad person, but there's no passion. And I really don't want to be here, but we just keep arguing and fighting and the kids see it. And oh gosh, I worry about my kids. Yeah, these are real life concerns. That's when being spiritual really has to be right down here at this level so that you're rolling up your sleeves and doing what you need to do to balance and bring harmony. And mostly get yourself into the mode where you can make the next parts of your plan and it will feel right to you instead of feeling desperate or a death sentence or something like that. Because it gets like that for people. They feel doomed that they're trapped and they're just going to keep living like this. How to survive your karmic soulmate. Okay. I don't care who that is. Roommate, long-term partner, um, whatever people call it because people make up labels for things as the mind rationalizes it. We're a long-term uh, karmic commitment partnership for the greater good of, it doesn't matter. That's a business transaction. So if your relationship is like a business transaction, then you need this. If your relationship is feeling like you're mothering someone or that your brother and sister or sister and sister or brother and brother, then you need to do this because there's a part of you that is intended to be in a passionate into each other relationship. That's the direction of this because that's success. If everyone on the planet was actually in love with the person they were supposed to be with, it'd be so different here. We wouldn't have nearly as many explosions and blow ups and people who aren't present at work and causing negligence at their job because they miss something because they were distracted somehow because they're not loved. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. How many of you as children? We're like that, you know, afterthought child or the accident child or the makeup sex child. Okay, we got to call it what it is, but that doesn't mean that you stay there. Okay, that was how you got here, but you're not staying there. So how to survive your karmic soulmate. How to stop being drained. And when you join my class, you get my Twin Flame Relationships book which has a huge reference of things in there on not only what things are and how you tell what to do. So let's say you think, I'll give you one example. Let's say you think that your soulmate, your soulmates, okay, everything's going good. I've had those relationships a couple of times. It's going so good. You're on the same page. You have the same taste in things. You're having fun with each other. You know, it seems like it's just so blessed. Well, what happened to me was there went the energy and I could feel it. And I even said, there goes John. And I was like, what does that mean? But I knew in my heart what it meant. I just didn't know what it would all mean. And some of you may be having some of those moments where you're saying, where did that go? Where did the magic go? What happened to us? Where's the passion? Okay, even if nobody is stepping out on that relationship, how do you really tell and feel if it's worthwhile to keep putting in the time and the energy and the effort and the investment into a relationship that your soul has no interest in? Because any work you do will always be for you anyway. 
And that's what I'm saying is come to this because you're working on this for you, for your life, for your success, not for another person. Because you won't get the right people. If you leave that relationship in the state you're in, you're in a diminished state and that's who you will attract. You attract people at the vibe you're at. If you're low vibe, if you're in low emotions, if you're not feeling okay, if you're feeling vulnerable, you, you don't want to stay there. You want to feel strong and confident and you want to feel the love again. And you want your template to be able to be the blueprint that it is for a new level of living. How to stop being drained. And that draining, that comes emotionally, energetically, financially. People find that weird things start breaking on them because they're staying put in the wrong situation. There's no love they're supporting. And I even had um, remembrances of things. When things don't thrive in your house, house plants don't thrive. Your vegetable garden won't thrive. Your animals feel it. Your children feel it. They act out. You may be getting the hints and signals and clues from what is in your direct environment that something's not thriving because you're not thriving. Okay. If you're trying to hang on, I mean, when I was, before I got my divorce, we had a bird, a little parakeet that we both loved. We loved the bird more than we started, you know, we didn't really love each other the same way we loved the bird. The bird left the house one day and we were both bereft. But, you know, I sometimes thought about and I said, even the bird doesn't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Why would the bird want to be here? You know, and that's how your life can get where things just fritter away from you. And you're saying it's like stuff going right through my hands. I can't, I can't hang on to anything. This is something's not, that's the real meaning of sustainable. When people talk about sustainable living, it can mean different things like sustainable farming, sustainable eating. But the real sustainable is how are you sustaining yourself? That's the real meaning. And it has to be with love from another level. You have new connections for that. So come. Here's what we do. We do a presentation. I open the floor for questions and answers. We get things moving because I'm a firm believer and there's no sense in just talking it to death. Let's get it out. Let's get it going. Let's get it moving. Whatever it is. Okay. We want to get it on its way and out. Okay. Get your own heavy patterns out. You get the book as a reference. We will be opening three new chakras and a 5D DNA activation for the template part of you that you need to have new relationships. So I hope to see you there. Please look for the links below. It's available on my, on my website at twinflamesmerge.com. I'm starting February 28th and I'm adding in a second time too which will be um, an evening time. So watch my website and have a good day. If this is you, if you keep wondering about physical union and how things are supposed to go, you have questions, please join. You're going to get a lot out of it, okay? You get tools that will take you to the level you need to be. And I don't mean crystals and pendulum kind of tools. You can have those. But the tool of what to do with your own brand new light body, the twin flame body. Okay. Thank you. Bye.